Thank you all uh, for coming out here today. Certainly in the middle of the day, it's good to, that we were able to get indoors considering the heat uh, outside, although I know that it's not going to stop any of you from going out and knocking on doors uh, tonight and the rest of the week. Um, thank you all for being here. It's really important uh, for you all to be here and for us to get out and start to talk about the issues that make up this campaign. Uh, as state representative for the eastern half of Pickaway County, uh, I go out throughout the 91st district talking to as many as 120,000 residents as I can. And it is one thing for me to go out and tell everybody how important it is uh, to vote in this election and to make sure that we support the right candidates. Uh, especially in the race for governor, we have such a sharp contrast between uh, the two opponents. And it is so important for us to differentiate what each of those candidates stand for. Clearly, we have a governor in Pickaway County uh, who has been standing up for us for decades. And with your help, we will continue to have that. But as often, and, uh, as often as I go out and talk to people and tell them how important this is and how important it is that they choose the right candidate for governor, it's even more important to hear from those uh, who have been affected uh, by the actions of the past because those will help determine what our future holds. And we have several of those uh, folks who have been affected uh, by the negative policies uh, that we have seen in Washington for decades. And uh, they are here to share uh, some of those stories with you today. So Phil, you want to go ahead and, and uh, tell the folks uh, how you have been impacted uh, by negative Washington policies and how we should prevent that uh, from happening here in Ohio. Thank you. My name is Phil Sires. Uh, yes, I am an old time Thompson employee. Uh, there are some people in this room, though, that had more time there than I. I can relate back to 1980. I was there 24 years. Uh, things when we started out in the 80s was very good, very good. At that time, we were still kind of a small planet. We had around 450 to 400 employees. And as the time went on, we expanded. Things still looking well. We were a world class operation. Bar none. No one could touch us. Employee wise, management wise, what happened. Later on, uh, probably in the late fall, 80s, early 90s, we moved up to as high as 1,100 employees in that one facility. Circleville and the county of Pickaway was doing excellent. We had jobs, we had revenue, we were moving. It wasn't too long in the near future, in 94, 95, this North American Federal Trade Agreement stepped in. So from that area until 2004, when we had employees really working, we were world class, as I said, no one could touch us to a plant that was shut totally down. We went to Mexico and Mexico, China, and uh, some of our partisan equipment did go into the Pakistan area. So now you have a county and a city that's devastated, not to mention 1,100 employees now looking for work. With that, I would like to continue on to uh, 24 years of service. And like I said, these gentlemen that were with me, that uh, Mr. Strickland, our government manager, came in, they, we were the heart and soul. We lived, we breathed, we grew up together to nothing. Revenue was very good. So with that, let me continue on. What do we want? Right now, our governor has taken a position and has how he's got us to where we are today is unbelievable. He took a job four years ago that was just like a crap. Today, Midway County, Circleville, and the rest of the state of Ohio is starting to move. It did take some time. But he's moving in a positive direction. He has got us to the point now where there's a lot of happiness, positive hopes. We're going. Um, this is the type of gentleman we need to stand for us, the working people. There's a gentleman running against him, uh, John Casey. He doesn't do that. Mr. Casey, he supports that. We cannot no longer take that type of attitude. Our governor now is moving in the right position. We can't go backwards. He said, Mr. Kasich supports China. Anything overseas, move it, that's fine. 
who gets rich? The big man. Our middle class, lower class, we're still struggling. Jobs are being created. We have a Thompson facility that is bare. We, two weeks ago, we got three and a half million dollars. And I'll let the governor talk about that because thanks to his efforts, every code will move. 